Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will watch part three of our video on a cable replacement project at Meritex Caves. The participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. Now, the first thing we're going to see here is our splicer Brandon at the enclosure on top of the Meritex Caves. You see there's six cables because there's going to be a series of three cables coming into the enclosure from the pole and a series of three cables going down into the caves from the enclosure. What Brandon's doing here is peeling back the outer jacket of a cable. He's going to bend back the concentric neutrals along the base of the cable. He's going to tamp them down and use some mastic to keep them in place. He's going to slide over cold shrink insulation here and here he is applying the mastic. And now he's going to go ahead and measure at the top of the cable clearance so he can make a uh, peel back some of the semicon layer here and then using a blowtorch, a heat source, he can loosen up the insulation around the cable. That heat source also, in addition to expanding the insulation a bit, exposes any imperfections so they can then go back in and sand them away. Removing those cuts and imperfections eliminates future cable failure in any of those locations. Now he's actually adding a little bit of lube and getting the cable ready for connection to the bus bar using a T connector. Now he'll go ahead and grab a lug and uh, make the connection with the bus bar, lining the cable up. He's going to grab a crimper tool and make the crimp between the lug and the cable. He'll actually make a series of three crimps along this connection point. You can hear the crimper working. And next it's time to connect a T-body to the cable, which will connect it up to the bus bar. See I'm here slipping the T-body over the end of the cable and uh, attaching that to the bus bar and to the T-body they're actually going to connect a 200 amp bushing which is used as a test point to see if the cable is energized or de-energized. And now you will also see them tighten down that bushing and they're going to put on top of it a dummy cap because this dummy cap can also be used to connect the grounds when they're testing these cables. You can put a little bit of lube on here so they can install the dummy cap and you're going to see a ground wire on some of these dummy caps in the final video shot of this sequence. Next you'll see them unwrapping the cold shrink on the bottom that actually acts as a water seal for this cable and this connection. And now they can gather those tails, clip off the loose ends, and make the connection to the neutral bus bar. And that will complete this T-elbow termination on this bus bar. And when we come back later, we see the completed enclosure here, the completed uh, connection to the bus bar. You see each cable has both an incoming from the pole on top and an outgoing down into the caves below. This completes part three of our cable replacement video. The work was performed by Kansas City Power and Light. And this video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you so much for watching.